back to Osbro Bricks and Cars. In today's video, I will be doing a video that is the top 10 LEGO Star Wars sets I want to have or wish I had. Um, and so we'll get right in with the honorable mention. So for the honorable mention, I have um, Anakin's Jedi Starfighter, which this one is based off of the original um, Clone Wars TV show um, that came out before the what the better known one. Um, this was from like the early 2000s, um, and I think this would have been cool to have, I think partially because I really like blue, but also I just think it's a very cool and unique ship. Um, then at number 10, I have um, Darth Vader's like uh, chamber. Um, I think this would have been, it's a cool set. It's just not, it hasn't been at the top of my list, but I think it would be a cool set to have. Um, then at number nine, I have the Coruscant police gunship. Um, this would have been cool to get because um, it was then seen in Star Wars Rebels and I could have color changed it to be black and gray. Um, but um, I think it would have, and it just came with some Coruscant guard clones and that would have been cool to have those. Um, but it was a set I was close to getting, but then in the end didn't end up getting. At number eight, I have Obi-Wan's uh, Jedi Interceptor. This is just a cool one. It would have been cool to have because I have Anakin's, but then I could have kind of put them together kind of on like a custom-made stand or bias stand that could just have the two of them beside each other because they're both in Revenge of the Sith. Um, then at number seven, I have the, um, the, the um, Z... Um, 90 Headhunter. I really like this ship. Um, it's the predecessor to the X-Wing, so it would have been cool to have. It also came with a Phase 2 pilot, 501st Phase 2 pilot, um, and uh, that would have been a cool figure to have. Then at number 6, I have the more the most recent um, Playscale UCS. Well, it, not place. it's more the, like, uh, Master Builder series um, sets, um, I wish I would have got it, it just, I have one that came out before it, but, um, this one just came with a lot better selection of figures, I feel like. Then, at number five, we have the, um, Republic AV-7 cannon, um, this would have been cool to have, um, just like the police gunship, I was close to getting it, but, I decided I didn't, and didn't, um, but because it came with the Wolfpack Troopers and Droid Eco, which um, I think the Wolfpack Troopers were, just would be cool to have. Then at number four, I have the Master Builder Series um, Moss Eisley Cantina. I really like this set. Um, it's just <laughs> very, not really in my budget, but um, I, I really like the figures in the set. It's a really good build, um, but um, I just not able to afford it. Then at number three, I have Captain Rex's ATTE Walker. Um, this is just a really cool set um, that um, I just wish I had because I really like the ATTE. Then at number two, I have an Art 170. Uh, this would have been a cool set to have, um, but I hope that they do end up coming out with one possibly next year. Um, but we'll see. Then at number one, we have the UCS, um, <clears throat> uh, the UCS um, AT-80, um, which I just really think is a really cool set, um, and I like the UCS sets overall. Um, so I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Can't wait to see you guys in the next one.